Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar hosted by GE Healthcare, Digitizing Outpatient Radiography, the transition from traditional X-ray to digital ra radiography. I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Madeline Smith, who is the Director of Government Relations and Policy for GE. Thank you. This is Madeline Smith, and I thank you all for joining. Um, I am, as was mentioned, the uh, Director of Government Relations Policy for General Electric, uh, and I spend most of my time on healthcare issues. Uh, I've been with GE for seven years developing policy alternatives to across-the-board payment cuts, uh, uh, including uh, accreditation of uh, imaging facilities, uh, application of appropriate use criteria for physicians ordering advanced imaging, and have uh, worked in service delivery reform, quality measurement, value-based purchasing, transparency issues, and also the device tax. Uh, I have prior experience in all of those areas. I previously worked before coming to GE at the Advanced Medical Technology Association on reimbursement and imaging issues. That's the Asso Trade Association for uh, Medical Devices. Prior to that, I served on the House Ways and Means Health Subcommittee, and I am proud to say that I helped draft the Medicare Modernization Act, which brought prescription drug coverage to Medicare. Before working for the committee, I worked for 10 years at the Congressional Research Service, which is the research arm of Congress, advising members and staff on health care issues. Late last year, Congress passed legislation to keep the government operating in fiscal 2016, which runs through September of this year. The Consolidated Appropriations Act included a provision related to imaging that had two parts. The first part encourages providers to switch to digital radiography. The second part relates to the payment reduction when multiple images are performed on the same patient on the same day the Multiple Procedure Payment Reduction Policy, or MPPR. Currently, the payment for the professional com component, that is the uh, interpretation of the image, when multiple images are performed, is reduced by 25% for the second and subsequent images. Beginning in 2017, the reduction will be lowered from 25% to 5%, so the payment rates for interpretation of multiple images will increase, which is good news. The policy of the X-ray policy is part of our strategy to develop policy alternatives to avoid across-the-board payment cuts in imaging, such as the cuts implemented in 2007 under the Deficit Reduction Act. Instead, we've developed policies like this digital X-ray policy uh, to avoid these payment cuts across the board. Uh, things that we have developed are good for patients, good for government, and good for manufacturers. In the past, we've also supported policy alternatives like the accreditation of imaging centers and the use of appropriateness criteria. You should be aware that beginning in 2015, CMS, which operates Medicare, made changes to payment calculations for the technical component, the rendering of the image. During rulemaking, CMS decided to assume that all imaging is done using digital technology, and they eliminated items related to film in imaging from consideration when they were determining the items and services, items and supplies, excuse me, used for X-ray imaging. So this new provision didn't come out of the blue. It's an outgrowth of CMS policy that was implemented in January 2015. <clears throat> So what are the X-ray changes that were included in the law? Uh, it reduces payment for film X-ray and for computed radiography imaging services. There's no change for digital radiography. These changes apply to physician offices, to independent imaging centers, and to hospital outpatient departments. They're uh, applying to services that are paid under the Medicare Physician Fee Schedule and the Medicare Hospital Outpatient Payment System. Therefore, they don't apply to hospital inpatient services. 
Again, the payment reductions only apply to the technical component for rendering the image for non-digital imaging services. There are no reductions to the professional component for interpreting the image. There are definitions included in the law, and unfortunately, not too many. The law defines computed radiography uh, as cassette-based imaging, which uses an imaging plate to capture the image. There's no definition of film x-ray or digital radiography included in the law. And most importantly, there is uh, no specification of the services that are subject to the reductions uh, if they're delivered non-digitally. So we don't know what procedures are subject to reductions and which procedures are not. And I'll come back to this in a minute. Perhaps most important to everybody are what are the reductions that will be made to film and uh, CR uh, x-rays. If the x-ray is performed using film technology beginning in 2017, the payment for the technical component will be reduced by 20%. So instead of paying a provider the same amount for film and digital x-ray, the rate for film x-ray will be 20% 20, 20 lower than the rate for digital. Uh, for example, if the technical component for CPT code 71010, a chest x-ray with one view frontal, uh, is uh, $13 today in 2016. If this policy uh, were to be put into effect today, the rate for, fi for film imaging would fall to about $11, which is the digital rate minus 20%. In the first year, the uh, CR payment is the same as the digital payment, uh, so it would also be about $13. If we assume we're in 2018 and the technical uh, rate is the same as the 2016 rate, the film chest x-ray would be paid $11, the CR would be paid the DR rate minus 7% or about $12, and the DR, the DR rate would remain at $13. The payment rate for each year will be the, quote, regular rate that year, uh, minus 20% for film. The CR rate, which uh, experiences reductions beginning in 2018, will be the regular rate, minus 7%. Uh, that 7% uh, reduction is into effect until 2022, when it increases to a 10% reduction beginning in 2023. Reductions are not cumulative or, or compounded. They're just reductions from the rate that digital would be paid in that year. And again, it only applies to the technical component, not the professional component. I mentioned earlier that there's a lot of uncertainty about how CMS will apply the provision, especially about the services that will be affected. CMS rulemaking will fill in the blanks. In early July, usually around July 4th, when the, it can ruin the holiday for people who care about payment issues, CMS publishes its proposed payment rules for both the physician office and outpatient hospital settings. The proposed rule will determine which services will be affected, what the payment rates will be, and what mechanism CMS will require to report the type of radiography used when providing the services. It's possible that CMS may follow the same procedure that they use in reporting um, CT services uh, based on the policy that uh, varied payment depending upon the CT equipment's uh, meeting the standard of XR29, or they may choose a different way. Um, the CT policy requires a provider to add a modifier to the claim that indicates the type of CT equipment used. They, again, may use some other mechanism for the X-ray policy. After the proposed rules are published, there is a 60-day comment period during which all stakeholders are uh, uh, at, at the 
option to comment on the proposed rules. This is your opportunity to express support or opposition to what CMS has proposed regarding the implementation of this policy. Um, all of the uh, submissions are reviewed by CMS and the, uh, the submissions are uh, noted and uh, responded to in the final rule which comes out around November 1st and that's for both the physician fee schedule and for the high payment systems. By law, the reductions for film will begin in January, in January 1st, 2017, and for CR the next year, January 1st, 2018. DE Healthcare has uh, formulated some estimated average payments uh, that you might see in your practice once these changes go into effect. They're based on taking averages uh, over uh, procedure volume and payment weighting. Of course, your experience may differ, and it could be substantially different from this. It depends on your mix of services and your use of film, CR, or digital equipment. As you can see from this table, uh, the clinic office setting uh, on average gets a reimbursement from CMS for imaging services x-rays uh, of about $33. Uh, when the film reduction goes into effect in 2017, that will fall to $28. And when the CR reduction goes into effect in 2018, the $33 for today's reimbursement would fall to $31 for uh, x-rays done with CR, and that would fall to $30 in 2023 when the 10% reduction replaces the 7% reduction uh, that CR had been under before. The hospital outpatient department uh, shows that the uh, technical component payment to uh, the hospitals for x-rays is much higher than it is in the clinic office setting on average. It's $77. And you can see that that $77 falls by 20% for film x-ray in 2017 and uh, to $73 in 2018 for CR imaging. you for uh, participating in this webinar, and I hope you've got some information that is of use to you. If you have questions, please submit them, and a member of our team will get back to you. Uh, hopefully, when we see the proposed rules, we'll know a lot more about this policy, and uh, we can update the information that's available to you. Thank you again.